On today's video, I'm going to refer back to one of my previous videos where I showed you some of the essentials of starting your own nursery. And one of those essentials, one of those five essentials in getting started, was figuring out your irrigation situation. How are you going to water all of these plants in your nursery? For the backyard grower, there are several different ways you can approach that. But for the overwhelming majority of my watering, I simply use a water hose and a sprayer and do hand watering. And I want to show you exactly what tools I use to get that job done every single day in the nursery. Let's have a look at this. If it's your first time here at my channel, it's good to see you. And if it's not, it's good to see you again. But I would love to have you subscribe and come and be a part of the Savvy Dirt Farmer family as we are growing this channel and passing along nursery beginning information and sending out all kinds of new content every week. I would love to have you come and be a part. Thank you. The first thing I want to show you today that I use every single day in my nursery, with the occasional exception if we have a rainy day or if I'm out of town or whatever, is the Dram. It's a 30 inch wand made by Dram and it is a fantastic watering wand. And let me give you a couple of reasons why this wand is better than anything you can buy at Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's and stores like this. I use the Dram wand to water my plants for two simple reasons and those reasons are First of all, that it gives you a good, strong flow of water when you go to water your plants. You don't have a head out here on the end that is restricting your water flow where it takes forever to water your plants. When you've got dozens or hundreds of plants or even thousands of plants to hand water every day, seconds matter per plant. If it takes you two seconds to do a plant, well, that's a lot less than four seconds per plant. That's the difference in taking 20 minutes to water your plants and taking 40 minutes or more to water your plant. So one thing I really like about the Dram wand is that the head does not reduce your water flow. And the second thing that I love about the Dram head is there's some kind of magic going on inside this piece of uh, the wand here in the actual head itself. It screws off. But there's something magic that goes on in the actual head itself that allows for full water flow but yet keeps the water flow gentle at the same time. I've tried various watering wands from Walmart and Home Depot and places like that that have these adjustable heads on them where you can adjust the spray to cone or center or jet or shower or whatever where you have a variety of uh, spray options to use. Uh, but here's the reality. When you have a lot of plants to water, those things are ultimately trash or they're going to turn into trash. And I know that because I've used several of them. And what inevitably ends up happening with those heads is the ends of them get stopped up and you start getting these renegade streams of water that spray up and that spray out and water comes out of those things like a pressure washer and you have a constant battle against your plants and trying to not beat them to death as you water them and the dram watering wand has the opposite effect it waters full flow full volume of water but it waters very gently just have a look at how this waters the plants in a really gentle way Here's a little group of fire witch dianthus plants that I'm just using to take cuttings from to make more. But here's the style of watering wine that I'm telling you about that as far as I'm concerned, these things are just not any good. Uh, every setting I choose, that one's called center. It just is not providing a lot of water. It's under pretty high pressure, but there's just not much water coming out of that. It takes a lot of water. It takes a lot of time to get enough water out of that setting. I don't know. What about that setting. There may be a little bit more there, but if you've got plants that are young and tender, you're going to absolutely beat them to death using this thing. I put it over on a different setting there called stream and I mean, that's just a water jet coming out of there. Oh, that went a frog. <laughs> that's just a water jet coming out of there and that is not a good way to water potted plants. Mist. The mist setting works pretty good, but that's no good for this application. Full. Yeah, that's going to pound them to death too, so there's just a much, much, much better tool to water your nursery plants with than these adjustable heads. Let me show you that. Now this is just a miscellaneous group of plants here over in a corner of my nursery. And you can see how gentle that flow of water is, but yet there's a lot of water coming out of there. And I can water lots and lots and lots of plants. And really just a matter of seconds, there's about 35 or 40 plants right here in this group and I just watered all of them completely in about 30 seconds and you can see that water flow how gentle that is how soft that is 
This is great for watering something like a vegetable garden, for watering flower beds, for watering your nursery plants, for watering just about anything. And I'm just going over these again just to show you that a little bit more. But it really just waters about as good as you could ask for any hand watering application you can imagine because it's so gentle yet it sends the water out in a great volume. And the gentle shower from the Dram Wand, it even feels good on a blazing hot day like today. So easily the Dram Watering Wand is one of my favorite tools in the garden, most useful tools here in the garden, in the nursery. And let me show you what you need to pair that wand with. The best hose as far as I'm concerned that you can buy. And just so you're aware, there are links provided in the description below to the wand and to the hose. Now this beautiful piece of art here, this beautiful piece of work laying on the ground here, this hose that looks kind of black, or that is kind of black, is my Flexzilla hose. And it's a 75 foot hose, but I'm just leaving it laying here just how it lies and just how it always is in my nursery. And it hangs right here on this hose holder all the time, except when I'm using it. And this hose gets walked on every day. The wheelbarrow gets pushed over it all the time. It's out here in the rain, it's out here in the snow. It's out here all year long, either on the ground or on the hose reel. Now, if you know about the Flexzilla hose, you're probably more accustomed to seeing it in its new, shiny, bright yellow form like this picture here, a store locally. But here's the thing. Just like you don't want to trust a skinny chef, you don't want to trust a cowboy that's all hat and no cattle, you don't want to trust a nursery man who has a clean garden hose, and that's why mine is black. I've had this hose now going into my fourth season, or fourth full season with this hose. It's never been inside. It never comes off of this tree or never comes off of the ground, and it just gets used all the time. One winter, this hose, I think it was two years ago, it laid out here through the winter season and just through walking on it and through it's laying out here, it got completely buried out here in the winter mud in the yard and actually had to pull it out of the ground and... It stands up to a lot of abuse, and I can't st say enough for how tough it is, how durable it is, and this thing never kinks. I would never say there's no such thing as a kink-free hose, but this is as close as anything that I've ever bought, including these black hoses that are called kink-free hoses, or many of the cheaper hoses. Listen, everybody wants to save money, everybody wants to get something cheaper, but you're always going to get what you pay for, and these hoses aren't incredibly expensive but they're not the cheapest ones either and you're gonna do a lot better in the long run you're gonna be a lot less frustrated with your hose if you get one that will hold up and that will not kink and it's not a pain to use i drag this hose all over this nursery every day watering all of my plants with it and it never gets a kink in it i mean it never does so I can't say enough about that. And also, after four years of use, it doesn't leak anywhere. Um, all the, the fittings are true. Um, it doesn't feel like it's getting brittle at all. I don't know if it'll hold up another year or two years or five years, but I can just tell you that it's the best hose that you're gonna find, at least non-commercial grade hose that you're gonna find for the backyard nursery. And the Flexzilla hose paired with the Dram Rain Wand is an absolutely awesome combination for watering your nursery plants. So one of my goals with this channel is to share with you some of the kind of behind the scenes things, some of the stuff that you just don't know, things about starting a nursery that I wish I had known when I was trying to start a nursery. So hopefully this video has helped you in helping to know what kind of irrigation to choose. Can't go wrong with the Dram Wand and the Flexzilla hose. I got a 75 foot hose, a 5 8 inch hose. It's a great hose. Links below. Subscribe right here by clicking on my face. Check out these two videos over here for more on backyard growing. Hope all of you are having a great day. I love all of you, and I'll see you on the next one.